The diagram above shows a sketch of the curve with the equation y equals 3 over x, where x can't equal 0. Part A. On a separate diagram, sketch the curve with the equation y equals 3 over x plus 2, where x can't equal to minus 2. We need to show the coordinates of any point at which the curve crosses a coordinate axis. So let's compare this to this. We can see that the only difference is we've got a plus 2 on the inside of the function. So what that does, that's like having the transformation f of x plus 2. It's on the inside of the function, so it affects the x coordinate only. And we do the opposite to what it says. So we're going, instead of adding 2, we're going to subtract 2 from all of the x coordinates. So it's going to make the whole graph shift or translate 2 squares in the negative x direction. Crucially, the 3 over x graph has an asymptote at the beginning of x equals 0 and y equals 0. So this x equals 0 asymptote here is also going to shift 2 squares in the negative direction to be x equals minus 2. So here's our new asymptote. And let's draw the graph in there. It's going to look something like that. We do need to mark on where this graph intersects with the x, uh, the, well, it doesn't intersect with the x axis at all, but where it intersects on the y axis there. Well, I know at that point that's where x equals 0. x is 0 here. So if we substitute 0 into our function here, we see that y equals 3 over 0 plus 2, or just 3 over 2. Part B says to write down the equations of the asymptotes. Well, I've already marked on the vertical asymptote. I marked that on to help me um, to help me draw the, the graph. But the horizontal asymptote will stay as it is, will stay here. That wasn't affected by the move in the x direction. And that's got the equation y equals zero.